when Olivia Wilde first met comedian Jason Sudeikis at a Saturday Night Live rap party in May 2011, she was immediately hooked. But despite tearing up the dance floor together, Jason didn't take her number, delivering instead a cool one-liner. He came up to me and he said, whatever you're looking for, you don't need it, she once told Howard Stern and he walked away. They bumped into each other several times over the next six months, but still Jason didn't make a move. Eventually a friend of Olivia's gave him her number, ordering him to use it. It would be another month before Olivia's phone finally lit up, and by that point she admitted she was on the hook. For Jason, he later told how his apparent reticence had all been about timing. I actually came off looking a little cooler than I really am because I had heard through the grapevine, through mutual friends who weren't exactly her best girlfriends, who would report back, oh you know, I think she's dating someone, he said during an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. So I didn't make any moves. I was just very, very busy with other things. And next thing you know, I stopped being busy, she stopped dating someone, and then it was off to the races. They had their first date at a New York restaurant, kissed on their fourth date and moved in together in October 2012. Olivia, who had initially feared she wasn't a contender for such a brilliant actor with a brain like lightning, declared that she was blissfully, hopelessly, wildly in love. We hold hands. I never f hold hands, she gushed to Glamour magazine. Dishing on their chemistry, Olivia once boasted that they have sex like Kenyan marathon runners but mused over the realities of monogamy, insisting that if she had her way, relationships would only last seven years. That way it never goes stale. Can you imagine, if we only had seven years? We'd be so nice to each other, so kind, and appreciative and enthusiastic, like we were eating a really expensive bowl of pasta," she said. And in Olivia land people wouldn't cheat nearly as much because there wouldn't be the threat of spending forever with one bedfellow. In January 2013 Jason proposed with a 1920s Parisian engagement ring featuring a circle of emeralds around a center diamond. And the smitten Ted Lasso star credited his fiancée with his newfound health and happiness. Being happy, and in love, for me, was the secret, he told Modern Luxury Manhattan in July 2013. I feel like I returned home to myself as an individual through the process of falling in love with the sweetest woman I've ever known. Their son Otis was born on April 20, 2014, followed by daughter Daisy in October 2016. Everything seemed perfect? When the pandemic hit, the couple locked down together with their two children, but in November 2020 came the announcement that it was all over. A source told People magazine that the split was amicable, explaining that problems arose as a result of changed feelings. It's been amicable and they've transitioned into a great co-parenting routine, the insider said. The children are the priority and the heart of the family's relationship. They just fell out of love in a romantic way, but still have love towards one another as people. This was followed by conflicting reports of when the couple actually split, with some saying it was at the start of 2020, while others were saying it was the autumn of that year. Olivia herself explained that it had been an ongoing process over the space of several months. Like any relationship that ends, it doesn't end overnight. Unfortunately, Jason and I had a very bumpy road, and we officially dissolved the relationship towards the beginning of the pandemic. 
We were raising two kids during lockdown, so we co-parented through that time, she told Vanity Fair. Once it became clear that cohabitating was no longer beneficial for the children, it became the responsible thing to not, because we could be better parents as friends who live in different houses. Alongside the separation, Olivia, 38, had started directing dystopian thriller, Don't Worry Darling. Her leading man was former One Direction star Harry Styles, 28, who she enthused about just hours before the split announcement, hailing his lack of any traces of toxic masculinity. Rumors of romance between Harry and Olivia sparked in January 2021 after they were spotted holding hands at a wedding in Montecito, California. They are now believed to live together, splitting their time between London and Los Angeles. But Olivia remains resolute that there was no crossover. The complete horse's idea that I left Jason for Harry is completely inaccurate, she told Vanity Fair. Our relationship was over long before I met Harry. For 47-year-old Jason's part, he told GQ magazine in July 2021 that he has no idea why they actually split. He'll have a better understanding of why in a year and an even better one in two, and an even greater one in five, he said. He'll go and from being, you know a book of my life to becoming a chapter to a paragraph to a line to a word to a doodle. Have you got a story to share? We want to hear all about it. Email us at your mirror at mirror. Co.uk